What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another video. What do we got here? Some homemade contraption I built. That is my potato planter. Thought I'd make a little video on how I built that, and then we'll hook her up to the tractor here and kind of explain how it's going to work and everything. So, let's get to it. All right, everybody. Here's my potato planter I built. Or that's what at least I hope it'll do, is plant potatoes. We won't know until we get her in some fluffy ground and pull it a little ways and see if it'll work. But So, to kind of back the story up here, I wanted to plant potatoes this year. And just a few rows of the field, because I've taken two acres out of corn and putting that just to vegetables. So it'll be sweet corn, more sweet corn, it'll be pumpkin, squash um potatoes who knows stuff like that that i can sell but um i need a potato planter and the ones in marketplace are mostly lawn art pieces to say and if you did find one they're super expensive or no one messaged you back we asked all around here in the neighborhood and a few guys we know and they give us a few leads and but nothing really nothing really to say so i think most of them got scrapped out years ago or just got used until they were absolute junk so i decided i could make one so this is what i came up with this right here is like a three point boom thingy i got a seat off of an old backhoe we had my old set of closing wheels, or two of them, off my six-row planter I have. Some angle iron off an old scale where Dad used to work that he got for free. Some old homemade trailer axle and wheels. Tire things that are on like a little lawn um, more trailer. Um, Shank here had that. I did have to buy that... Um, opener thing brand new that was $22 not bad got that from my mom's work and then I had to buy another spool of welding wire which was like 15 I didn't even use that much of it then so for $37 I think that'd be I built this potato planter so welded it all up and it should work so hook that to the Ferguson here and I'm going to have to figure out my depth here. So we're going to have to have it in a three-point and use the top link to kind of set our uh, opener there. We don't want to plant them too deep. That's the thing. And I'm not real sure that idea there will close the furrow. But if I have to, I can always come out with something here. Go back and then just hook like a chain behind it to scuff some dirt over the furrow, hopefully. And then, I'm guessing I'll have to hill them. But I have to figure out how I'm going to make one of those. And then, obviously, I'll need a digger. And I can make one of those. I've thought of some ideas. But if I could just find one. And then I did find one. They're all like 1000 bucks, 1200 and they're horse-drawn. So, kind of a lot of money to spend on something like this. So, that's why I built my own here. Out of stuff we had. So yeah, I'm just worried about it closing the furrow and then making sure I don't plant them too deep where they're not going to come up forever. So we shall see. So now I think I'll hook it to the tractor and see what that looks like, guys. All right, everybody, I got it hooked to the tractor here. Brock sitting on her. As you can see, the ripper or furrow opener is right there. I have to take the drawbar out to be able to use this on here. So I'll just have to figure out our depth when we get in the field and where we need our three-point arm. I might have to put a longer one on it to tip it back more. But that can be figured out when we get to the field. And yeah, this should work. So that's how I built it. Well, everybody, that's the end of this video. If you have any ideas or suggestions for this or know of anywhere in central michigan that i could find potato planter digger hiller whatever 
one, two, four row, whatever it is, that's reasonably priced, let me know. Until then, we'll catch you in the next one.